గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ చిల్డ్రన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసెస్ ఆఫ్ శ్రీ వెంకటేశ్వర గ్రూప్ ఆఫ్ స్కూల్స్ ఐఎమ్ కే నాగేశ్వరి ఐఎమ్ సోషల్ స్టడీస్ టీచర్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు టెల్ అబౌట్ ఇండియా అండ్ రిలీఫ్ ఫ్యూచర్స్ before going to the lesson first we have to know the exact location of india in ninth class we already learned the latitudes and longitudes or using specifying any place or region accurately like that india is located north eastern hemisphere i will show you Gujarat time 
Gujarat type, Arunachal Pradesh type, Andhra Pradesh type. It is little bit confused. For reducing this confusion, every country is maintaining one standard time. Our Indian standard time is 82 degrees 30 minutes east to longitude. So what is the Indian standard time? 82 degrees 30 minutes east to longitude. It passes near Uttar Pradesh. In Andhra Pradesh it passes near Kakinada. So what, what was the time here we can follow? The whole country is following the same time. So for that our Indian standard time is 82 degrees 30 minutes east to longitude. Now I think you understood what we read today. That is first one is what is the location of India. So I already said that India is located in northeastern hemisphere. And the geometrical location of India also we have completed. Now the next one is why India is known as peninsula because it was covered by recent water that is east bay of Bengal, west to Arabian Sea and south Indian Ocean. Now what is the importance of Indira point? This is the Indira point. It is the southernmost edge of India because Andaman and Nicobar Islands are also part and parcel of India is known as peninsula because India was covered by three side water, East Bay of Bengal, West Arabian Sea and South Indian Ocean. So next what is the importance of Indira point? It is the southernmost edge of India. Next Indian standard time. So our Indian standard time is 82 degrees 30 minutes East Longitude. Here we have to learn one more point. So the time differences between Arunachal Pradesh and Gujarat I said two hours like that. The time differences between GMT that is Greenwich Mean Time it passes through London. It passes through London. The time differences between GMT and our IST is 5 and half hours. It is very very important. So what is the time differences between GMT and IST? That is 5 and half hours. For example, the time in our India is 5 p.m. Now, what, what is the time in London? Come back. That is 4, 3, 2, 1, 12 and off. 11.30. 11.30 a.m. Suppose the time in GMT is 5 p.m. Now plus 5.30 that is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and off 10.30 p.m. So we can count like that. Suppose if they give Indian time we can deduct it 5 and half hours. If they give GMT that is London time we can add it to this 5 and half hours. Now come to our actual lesson that is India and Relief Futures. What is the meaning of relief? Different types of landforms that is mountains, plateaus and plains. So it is called as a relief. Now, there are six relief futures in India. We can, uh, we can call it as a physical futures of India. The first one is Himalayas. The second one is Indo-Gangetic Plain. Third one is Peninsular Plateau. Fourth one is Coastal Plains. Fifth one is Deserts. Sixth one Islands. 
So now we are entering into the actual lesson of 10th class. The first one is India and relief features. What is the meaning of relief? Different types of landforms. So there are six relief features in India. That is, first one is Himalayas, Indo Gangetic Plains, Peninsular Plateau, Coastal Plains, Deserts, and Islands. Now let us learn about Himalayas in details. So, Himalayas are the largest mountains in the world. So, these Himalayas are the ranges in Asia which separates our Indian plain from Tibetan plateau. These Himalayas are stretched from India, Pakistan, China, Pakistan, Nepal and Bhutan. These Himalayas are run from west to east in the form of arch with 2000 400 kilometers. So here the width of Himalayas is 500 kilometers whereas it is only 200 kilometers in the east. So Himalaya means abode of snow. These Himalayas are three different types of ranges. That is Himadri, Himachal, and Shivalis. So the Himalayas are run from west to east in the form of arch. So the Himalayas have three different types of ranges that is Himadri. The another name of Himadri is Greater Himalayas, Himachal, Lesser Himalayas and Shivalis, Outer Himalayas. Now let us learn about Himadri in details. The southernmost edge of Himalayas are called Himadri. It is completely covered with ice and glaciers. It consists of all highest two peaks in the world. That uh, the glaciers where it is in Himadri is very important for perennial water. We have three types of perennial rivers that is Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra. So, that is the importance of the Himadri or Greater Himalayas. Now, the next one is Himachal. The south of Himadri is called Himachal or Lesser Himalayas. So, it is very famous for different types of ranges. That is Mahabharat range and Pirpanjal range. And famous for hill stations that is Simla, Mussoorie, Nainital and Ranikhet and it is also very famous for different types of valleys that is Kashmir Valley, Kulu Valley and Kongra Valley. Now the next and the last one is Shivalits. The southernmost edge of Himalayas are called Shivalits. So these Shivalits are known by different names in different places. In Jammu Kashmir, these Himalayas are known by Jammu Hills. In Arunachal Pradesh, it is known as Nishti um, Hills. In Assam, it is known as Kachar Hills. Here, we can learn one more important feature that is Duns. What is the meaning of Duns? The straight bottom valley lying between lesser Himalayas and Shivalis is called Duns. Once again, I am saying that the straight bottom valley lies between lesser Himalayas and outer Himalayas. For example, Dehradun, Kotlidun and Potlidun. Here, we can learn one more important physical feature that is power. While Himalayas are flowing, the Himalayan rivers are deposit gravel and pebble sediments. That what is called Babur. The south of Babur, so we have Teroy, the marshy and the swampy region at the south of Babur is called Teroy. Here we can learn one more important thing that is Purvanchal. Brahmaputra Valley is the southern easternmost edge of 
Himalayas. So here the Himalayas have taken hairpin bend. You know the hairpin. So what is that bend? So like that bend here Himalayas have taken hairpin bend. So this division is called Purvanchal. So here we can see locally they are known as a Patakai Hills and in Nagaland these are called Naga Hills and in Mijoram Mijo Hills and uh, Toshi Hills in Meghalaya and uh, Mani, Manipuri have also one name that is Mijo Manipur Hills.